Good morning, JJ Jens. How are you, JJ Jens? Good morning, morning. Good morning, and welcome to Morning Tea. That's what happens when you do too many things, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, good morning, and welcome to Morning Tea. Happy Monday, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Today, in my coffee cup, I have the coffee from the one and only Coffee Queen, Denise, the Coffee Queen, right here. See. All right. All right. All right. There you go. Decaf. Because, Decaf. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I suffer from migraines and, you know, you got to keep the caffeine low to reduce uh -huh. the migraines. And this is, you know how some decaf don't taste really good? Mm -hmm. This is smooth. It tastes like you're drinking real coffee. Because I know that's a lot of complaints for a lot of people when they're drinking decaf. They're like, but it don't taste like coffee. It does. It really tastes like I'm drinking caffeinated coffee. I don't feel lose any of the flavor, nothing. It is delicious. It's smooth. Doesn't give you that bitter aftertaste. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> it is delish. Um, so that's what we're drinking this morning. And this morning I have with me again, because I know you guys have seen her before. And so back by popular demand, <laughs> Deneen, the coffee queen. And she's going to talk to us about being a woman, being a minority, being a a powerhouse in the coffee industry because really and truly the coffee industry is dominated by white males or, or foreign pe people of foreign descent, not Americans, um, because a lot of our coffee does not come from America. Like she'll tell you all of that. So we're going to talk about what it's like to build a coffee empire, what what she, what she has done to do so. So Deneen, get us started and welcome again. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you, thank you, Tracy. Um, <clears throat> I, I had to laugh when I heard you say, I'm going to tell them about being a woman. But then you get <laughs> the sentence. Okay, so I, I said, oh, Amber, that's what we're talking about? Okay. Uh, good morning, morning tea. Uh, as Tracy said, I am Deneen Ambersley, affectionately known as Deneen the Coffee Queen. And then, you know, it's just has, it just has a wonderful ring to it. And so I have gotten my customers um uh, my competitors uh my my community i have gotten all of them used to saying the name the coffee queen and so as you meet me today if you want to remember who was that lady on tracy's show that sells coffee that's a coffee vendor that does everything coffee hey guys i am the name the coffee queen coming to you live here from columbia south carolina where i serve a delicious healthier alternative to what you are already drinking we just gonna stay right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell us how did you get started in the coffee industry? Because I think I we kind of touched on it the last time you were here, but we didn't really dive into it. So today is all about coffee because everybody, everybody's got their cup of coffee, and we're gonna talk about coffee, right? So how why, how and why coffee? Well, let me let me say this first, because someone on this uh, platform may be looking and say, you know what? I do not drink coffee. I do not want to hear about this. I'm here to share with you. Yes, you do. You want to hear about this, because if you can come across a product that <clears throat> that withstands uh, that is recession proof, you want to listen to what we're talking about. And so how did I come? Uh, across coffee. How did I start selling coffee? Well, I was with this company, a MLM company, and I don't know if I'm supposed to or not supposed to say its name, so I won't. But I was in an MLM, and their main product was coffee. Now, they sold coffee, tea, cocoa, and some other things, but their main product was coffee. And so, guys, I did really well selling coffee. Like, I had a whole bunch of customers, but we're going to talk about how I lost them as well. Uh, due to the lack of a customer relation management tool, right? But right now, I just want to tell you, I made, and I want you to know the number, I made a decent stream of income because I can't call it a salary because it got cut down. So, right. so I made a decent stream of income up in uppers of uh, less than $20,000, but I'll go around between fifteen dollars and $18,000 for about three to four months. So I did really good selling coffee. And this was every month? company itself it 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 started to uh go away i don't know how to describe it because that was my first 
MLM company, mm -hmm. but I know that a lot of the leadership began to leave the company. And as they left the company, they left us holding the bag. Oh, I love saying that. Oh, they left us holding the bag. And when they did that, I, I didn't know what to do. It's almost like COVID-19 came along and some of us just don't know what to do. But well, Tracy, let me let me stop, pause, put a pause on pinning it right there and let you know you are doing an amazing job Thank for you. us Thank entrepreneurs you. by allowing us to come on your platform and share our products and or services. So guys, let's give it up for Tracy. Um, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, that's how I got started with an MLM company. Okay. And so what kept you going? So I know that we have talked behind the scenes about coffee and I, you have given me some like really amazing statistics on how Americans drink coffee. So tell us about what kept you in the game because, okay, the LML, LML I always have the multi-level marketing. Say it three times fast. Say it three times fast. I dare you. Go. <laughs> the multi-level marketing company started to dwindle and so did your salary or your commissions, right? started to dwindle yeah. along with it. So what mm -hmm. made you decide to stay with coffee? I mean, if the coffee business that you were with was dwindling, you would think that you would jump ship and move on to the next company like most people do. But what made you stay? And then ultimately having your own. <laughs> Thank you. Having my own. Right. Well, Tracy, I'm going to tell you what made me stay. And then I'm going to read some statistics to you. So I pulled them up. Is that okay? okay. Yep. Okay, platform. Morning tea. I hope mm -hmm. y'all taking a sip. Go ahead and get your sip because it's going to be good. When I share this with you, you're going to say, dang, I understand why she stayed. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the reason I stayed because I was about to retire from the military and I knew I wanted my own business. Now, remember, I was selling coffee really, really good. Like, I don't know. I, I like selling. You know, some people say, I don't like selling. Right. I love selling. Mm -hmm. You tell me, no, it's okay. Because I found out that eight out of 10 people drink coffee. And so since it, since eight out of 10 people drink coffee, I only mm -hmm. need two of y'all to say no. The rest of y'all are going to be purchasing coffee. So I right. love it. I love it. And so mm -hmm. because of the sales, I believe, not the money. Let me, let me be clear. Sales was a psyche for me. Mm -hmm. If you purchase from me, it boosts my psyche. It boosts my confidence. It boosts the idea that I can sell. Now, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm telling you, it was new to me, but mm -hmm. I began to love it. And mm -hmm. I also uh, kept pouring like Jim Rohn. I don't know if you noticed, that, you know, Jim Rohn and uh, Brown, Les Brown. I, I started pouring uh, Stephen Covey. I started pouring lots of positive energy into me. Now, I've never known about that kind of stuff until I came into the MLM. So I will never... Um, talk negative about the co those MLM companies. I just believe there it takes a strong person <laughs> to hang on. That's all. Right. A person that really desires and loves that type of industry. Mm -hmm. But going back to the coffee industry, why did I stay? Oh, I can't wait to share this with you. Mm -hmm. One, it creates the coffee industry creates 1.7 million jobs. Wow. 1.7 million jobs each year. The coffee industry adds 225 billion with a B dollars to the GDP. Wow. Yes. Also, there's about 35,000 coffee shops at hand right now and growing, mm -hmm. right? 2,300 roasters, but there is imported. So most of our, all of our roasters, except for two states, and I'll tell you, it's Hawaii and California. No other state. Uh, grows coffee. So we, we are helping importers. So there's mm -hmm. an import and an export and all this tap, all this great stuff that you get to be a part of. 500 million cups of coffee is is uh, drank or consumed, I like to use that word. Yeah, It's consumed every single day, two to three times a day. So guys, all I have to do is figure out how to get, you can't see it, okay, I was reading it, but you <laughs> all I had to do was figure out how do I get into this industry? And when you're talking about, it generates over a hundred billion, with the B, I like saying that too, a hundred billion dollars each year, mm -hmm. coffee industry. Oh yeah, I need to get into that. 
I, I need to figure out what we got to do to be successful. And oh, by the way, and I'll leave it at this. The last part of this is I was able to meet multi, multi millionaires in the coffee industry. Mm -hmm. I mean, up close and personal. So that kind of gave me a, a boost. Yeah. Good. So how did you learn about coffee? Because if you're selling a product, you have to know about the product. What are some of the things you did to educate yourself in the coffee industry? Oh, that's a great question, Tracy. And that, you know what? You ask every last one of your uh, guests that same question because I share that with many people. Mm -hmm. You must get into your industry. You must uh, join your 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 national industry, excuse me, national association. So I have a national coffee association, mm -hmm. but you must join platforms and you must take YouTube and keep feeding yourself about your industry because that's yeah. what's going to help you grow. What's going to help you grow is your knowledge of your product and or service. Mm -hmm. Not the fact that you can just get customers because you can get them and they can go away. But right. the more you know, the more you grow, the more you earn and you mm -hmm. earn. 250 million people drink coffee two to three times a day. I'm talking about nationally. So I'm not even talking about worldwide yet, right? We're not even going across mm -hmm. the water. We're talking about right here. And so if that many people drink coffee a day and eight out of 10, that equals to eight out of 10. I can go into a room, Tracy, and mm -hmm. start counting people. Okay, that's 10 mm -hmm. right there, mm -hmm. 10 right there. So I got 30 people in this room. Mm -hmm. So I have the potential. Right, three times eight is twenty-four. I have mm -hmm. the potential of gaining twenty-four customers right there. Right, I just find them. and normally I don't have to find them because they got a coffee cup in their hand. That yeah. is very true. <laughs> that is very true. And on average, I know that because I'm a avid coffee drinker, so I drink everything from, uh, and I'm just gonna call names because it is what it is. Okay. Um, it is, what it is. Yeah, I mean, just to make the reference for anything from Cumberland Farms all the way to Starbucks, right? Yeah. And the yeah. price difference. And Deneen, the coffee queen and in between. Of course, because I have it right here. In between. There you go. I you do that. But that's, the, that's what I'm getting to. So okay. anything from Cumberland Farms to Starbucks. Now, I buy this bag of coffee. I think it was 16. Am I right? So right now, or since 18. you asked. Right, right now, right uh -huh. now, because of COVID-19, all of our coffees are $10. Oh, so okay. Oh, well, I need to talk about I know. <laughs> yes, we're <laughs> leaving it. You, <laughs> yeah, you missed that sale. So, so, but, but okay. we're so I'll be ordering my some more today because I don't yeah. even want to be out. $10? Awesome. Okay. So, when now I keep bought it, it was $10. So, but keep in mind, with, um, with the shipping and handling, it's going to come to about 15 I'm going to say $16. Yes. Okay. So okay. anyway, I buy this. Okay, so I buy this bag. It's a 12 ounce bag of coffee. And mm -hmm. this bag of coffee can give me maybe about 24, 30 cups of coffee. 36, to, be exact, to be exact, 36 to 48 cups. I can go right. that. Exactly. Depending on how strong I, that I want it. You, you know what I mean? So um, that's what? A fraction of maybe 50 cents a cup. Or yeah. less, right? Yeah. Or less. And I go, I go to some place like, <laughs> right? If I go to some place like Starbucks, I'm easily spending six bucks to seven bucks for a cup of co coffee. One cup. one cup of coffee, and when I'm done, I still need another one, right? <laughs> and so I'm just saying that people spend money on coffee. That's why places like Starbucks exist, but. I'm going to be honest, I don't really like Starbucks coffee, <laughs> right? But mm -hmm. because I'm not, I'm not crapping on Starbucks today. I'm just saying what mm -hmm. I spend for that, I can get this and 48 cups of Absolutely. coffee out of my own house. Absolutely. Okay. In my own tumbler that I can take with me. Absolutely. So um, just to say that the coffee industry is so big and we know people spend money on coffee. Like there's a coffee shop on almost every block in a mm -hmm. metropolitan area. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I can see why you're saving it because the potential for income is mm -hmm. great. And like you said, it's recession proof because mm -hmm. we're in a recession. Doesn't mean I'm going to stop drinking coffee. Probably means I'm drinking a little bit more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? and, and that's another reason why we reduced our prices. Mm -hmm. uh, 
you know, like five bucks. And we did yeah. that because we know people are not going to start, excuse me, stop drinking coffee. Mm -hmm. And we didn't want people to struggle because it's already a struggle. You may have lost your job. You know, you, you have some things going on. You may have been um, not just lost your job, but everybody in the household may not be working right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, all kinds of things that, you know, the unemployment is late and, and it's not enough. And so those people still want to drink their coffee. Mm -hmm. And so we said, okay, what can we do to help those people drink their coffee? We can reduce our prices. And that's just what we did. And so we have a bag of coffee? That way until, uh, I don't want to give you a date, but it has everything to do with the COVID virus. So when okay. the COVID is over, we're going back to our normal prices. So I recommend getting your coffee now. If you want to stack up, that's fine. You know, coffee, the shelf life of coffee is like a year. Right. So it's up to you. Um, if you want to get it now, that's fine. If not, that's fine as well. Just know it's going up. It's going back up. <laughs> and you, know, you can I, get it. But um, the information is on the screen right now. It's DeneenTheCoffeeQueen.com. That's where you can go to order your cup, um, your bag of coffee. DeneenTheCoffeeQueen.com. Deneen, you have several different blends. I only drink the decaf because, like I told people, I have to keep my caffeine levels low. But I know you have some really. I've, I know other people who buy your coffee on a regular basis, and they talk about how smooth and they love the um the flavors are, and how they love the um the taste, the smooth taste of the coffee. So tell us some of the other blends that you have, and then we're gonna get into some more questions. Okay, so I was so prepared for that. And I don't know why I did this the way I did it. I wish I'm going to figure out how to build me a shelf behind myself. Yeah, you do. <laughs> it's movable. So I can slide it in and I can slide it out. And so let's go ahead and talk about some of our blends. I'm going to introduce to you all just five blends right now. But we have more. Okay. Our number one seller. Our number one seller. And I want you all to know that who's in the uh, Connecticut area. Why? And you're in Hartford, correct? Yes. That's in the, I'm just gonna say Connecticut. We're not gonna limit it to, limit it to one uh, city. But anyway, that's in the Connecticut area. We have New York, New York. New York, New York is our best blend. And guys, it's a medium dark roast. So I'm gonna tell you what type of roast, but you can read the back and that, that will may take too long here. So I'm just gonna tell you, this is our number one seller, New York, New York. Visit www.DeneenTheCoffeeQueen.com. You know, tap over there to the coffee blends. And you'll see New York, New York. Also, mm -hmm. which is a medium dark roast. Also, guys, that's our number one seller. Our next one, guys, is called Smooth Jazz. Now, this one right here, woo, what you drinking on a Friday night? This mm -hmm. is what you want to be drinking on a Friday night. Guys, our Smooth Jazz is our next best seller. I literally have this lined up the way it sells. Smooth okay. Jazz is our next best seller. And this mm -hmm. is a dark roast, right? We have dark roast, medium roast, and light roast. But this is a dark roast. And this is our next best seller. After that, guys, where are my gym fanatics? Where are my fitness kings and queens? Boom. We have this coffee called Jim Bean. Now, this is an Italian, uh, Italian pressed, an Italian pressed dark roast, strong. Whip. <laughs> this is a strong bag of coffee. So I'm not going to tell you, if you don't like strong coffee, don't order this. But if you do, guys, you don't have to put no cream and sugar in it because all of our coffees are smooth. Now, let me let me share something. I got two more, but let me share this with you before we go on. How do I know how our coffee tastes? I know how our coffee tastes, Tracy and, and ladies and gentlemen, because every quarter we have a tasting committee. It's I was going to ask you about that. <laughs> how, you know, how do you gauge it? How do you A-B test your coffee? Yes. yes. We have people come in and taste our coffee and they mark what they like and what they don't like. So mm -hmm. we tossing coffee out and we keeping coffee on board. And so that's how we know what our coffee tastes like. And that's a good point that you make because I market research. I'm big on market research. You have to know what your market. So we all think we like what we like. And we do. We like what we like. But it doesn't mean that your customers are going to like what you have. Yes. So in order to figure out what are the best blends or what is the best service or the best product, it doesn't matter what industry you're in. Because one of the things we talked about for this is that we're going to give you tips that can go across any genre, any business that you're in. You have got to test the market and see what your customers are saying, what they like and what they don't like. You don't want to have stocks of stuff that your customers don't want. So yes. that's a great tip. 
Yes. So, so, so we do that every quarter. It's called New Blends and New Flint, New, Bro mm -hmm. new, Blends, new, new Blends and New Friends. Mm -hmm. New Blends and New Friends. New people coming on board. And so our next one, guys, is called Velvet Soul. This is our light roast coffee. You hear, especially ladies, you hear many people say, well, I don't like strong coffee, but I need my cup, but I don't want it to be too strong. I recommend the Velvet Soul, guys, because it's smooth. All of it is smooth, but again, that's a light roast. And lastly, mm -hmm. what Tracy is drinking, and we have new packaging, by the way, Tracy. Uh, yes, that my pretty green emerald. I love this color. But this is, oh, it's all upside down. Oh, Lord, mm -hmm. help me. Okay, this is our um, uh, decadent decaf. It's not called decaf, it's called decadent. That means it tastes good. Yeah. Decadent decaf. And guys, that's a medium roasted coffee. So those are the flavors that we have that sells really good. And, what, and let me put a plug in right here. Guys, shop, uh, think big, shop small. Mm -hmm. Think big, shop small. Right now, we know that most coffee shops are not opening, opened. And if they are, they're doing a lot of social distancing. So many of you all cannot go into coffee shops. Many of right. you all cannot. And so we as coffee roasters, I'm not a roaster, I'm a, I'm a vendor. Mm -hmm. uh, but the coffee roasters and the vendors, guys, we, we offer you the opportunity to shop online. Shop online, buy out coffees. You don't have to buy my coffee, but buy coffee from your local uh, roasters, your local coffee companies. Why? Because they need to survive through this re uh, recession, if you will. Right. And I like that. Think big, buy, um, buy small. I think that's the slogan from SBA. Um, and the reason that that is so important Sorry for the noise in the background. But the reason that that is so important is because because of COVID-19, over 100,000 businesses, small businesses, will not be able to reopen their doors because they just do not have the finances to recover from this. Most small businesses are like people who are working. They're living from paycheck to paycheck. That means purchase to purchase. So yeah. if you're not buying small, then you are helping to cripple the economy because 99% of the businesses in America are small businesses. Only 1% of the businesses are corporate industries. So you have got to support your small businesses. You have got to. They're business, small businesses that have everything that you possibly need to buy to sustain your lifestyle. Find a small business or a local business and support that business. Okay, so let's move along. We're off our soapbox now. Um, so, um, so what are some of the other things that you have done to solidify yourself in the industry? Give us some best practices, some best tips, strategies. I know you go to um, yearly to conferences to learn what other people are doing and find new blends and find new friends, basically, you know, um, I know that you are a part of a ton of different associations and you're able to make connections there as well. So tell us a little bit about all of the things of how you market and promote and build, you're building this empire. So today I'm going to um, start a week long series of um, coffee videos, if you will. And today I'm going to call mine, uh, Move It Monday, um, because a friend of mine, I introduced it to her, and, I, and it was called Motivating Monday or something like that. And she said, everybody called it Motivating Monday, so why don't you change it and make it something else? I'm not going to say who told me that, but I think I'm looking at it right now. So anyway, Move It Monday. Hey, guys, one of the things that I did, if you have a product or service, I know this works. If you want to know what works, I know this works. You have to get in your community. You have to brand yourself in your start, start in your community. Everyone in your community needs to know who you are. Mm -hmm. If they don't, who are you selling to? People right. on the internet? I don't know. I'm not saying that's good, bad, or indifferent, but get in your community. Like, like these events that's going on around you, go, go. And you say, well, I'm starting to see the same people. Good. Because now they're remembering you. And we mm -hmm. call that top of mind. When someone goes to buy coffee in my community, I guarantee you, and I'm going to tell you how I know this works. I guarantee you they're going to say, man, I need to get some of that. I'm going to the grocery store. I need to get some coffee. Oh, man, why didn't I buy from the Nini Coffee Queen? Now, don't get me wrong. They probably still going to pick up that coffee while they're in the grocery store. It's called convenience. Mm -hmm. But because they thought of me, now I know here comes my marketing. And so, mm -hmm. guys, 
you got to get in the community and you and that's my number one advice that's my number mm-hmm. one tip. my number two tip uh, and it's it's fun off of that it's called network like you really need to build authentic relationships because then people will uh call you and say we're having this and we need your service or your product we're doing this and we'd love for you to come i mean tracy when i tell you people send me gifts in the mail referring to coffee it will knock your socks off yes physical gifts people send me physical and so if anybody's watching right now you have sent me a physical gift because <laughs> you know I'm talking to you. Uh-huh. It just blows my mind. Over the course of a year, I may get 12 gifts, gifts, Tracy. So what it is, people going into their little um, you know, shopping and they're finding little magnets and cups and, right. and little posters about coffee. And they're sending it to me. Hey Deneen, what's your address? I'm like, hmm. And I open it up and it's a gift. So guys, get out here and build authentic relationships through networking yes you've seen me at two networking events but you've never come up to me and asked me my name mm-hmm. so i don't know what you do i just know mm-hmm. you have some cute glasses on or your hair is pretty or that's a nice bag no that right. ain't why we went to that event no <laughs> none of that matters you do have a book on networking called 24 21 irrefutable laws of networking i have the link up there you can go to the website and you can get that book and workbook as well so you and can go to the coffee queen. Let me let me say this since you got it up there. Hold on, put that back. Go back. Let's wait, go back. wait. So you can oh, go yeah. to coffeequeen.com for the coffee and 21 irrefutable irrefutable laws of networking.com to get her book and her um workbook. Girl, you are really tech savvy. We don't have to have a class on the side. Like you have to show me how to do art. I don't know how to do any of that. <laughs> and I really Everybody has been asking. <laughs> I don't know what I need to pay you for some consultation <laughs> on this right here, but mm-hmm. we need to do this. Okay. <laughs> All right. So anyway, here we go. Um, the networking piece, guys. The the subtitle to this book is called Let's Meet for Coffee. Oh, y'all mm-hmm. thought we were gonna get away from that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's called Let's Meet for Coffee. Guys, this is where the magic works. You can meet me all day long at the at the event. You know, because we're branding. We're we're at some major conference. We all we all are there. Mm-hmm. And you see me before, hey, hey girl, whatever. Hi, how you doing? We're not shaking hands anymore when we open back up. Yeah. And we're gonna have a little distance. So now what you're gonna do? You're gonna, you know, you're gonna sit back or stand back a little bit and say, I know that girl on the other side of the room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> so let's meet for coffee tracy mm-hmm. it doesn't even matter if you drink coffee or not right. so yeah, people get caught up in foolishness mm-hmm. I'm gonna drink coffee. what i'm gonna do you're gonna go there and meet whomever and you have a cup of water mm-hmm. and you're gonna let it's you just a phrase. Water. it's a phrase literally it's a phrase okay. let's meet for coffee just yes. like if you're going out on a friday night you say let's meet for drinks i mean yes. I alcohol but i'm gonna have yes. a cup of soda and you're gonna have your alcohol it's just the yes. same <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Oh, analogy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Six o'clock in the morning. You know I'm not saying that. I'm thinking it, but I ain't going to say it. Six o'clock in the morning, and you came up with that. I love it. Girl, oh. My brain going this fast. <laughs> it's, your brain going like this. <laughs> okay, I'm going to catch up. I'm going to catch up. That's my daughter said. Catch up, mom. Catch up. <laughs> My son said, Mom, use your words. I'm like, no, I used to tell him that when he was That's young. a good thing. Because <laughs> no, it'll come and it'll stop right here. It won't come out. Like, okay, but anyway, back to coffee. Early in the morning. Six mm-hmm. o'clock in the morning, we need to be having a cup of coffee yeah, yeah. so we can get up. That's and usually the coffee, morning. Morning. the coffee or the tea. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, where are we? You're on number three. I don't see no numbers, Tracy. <laughs> yes, you did. You said number one, number two, number three. Okay. What's your next best strategy? So, we did um, networking. <laughs> hey, guys, it's I'm six o'clock in the morning. This is out. It's six o'clock in the morning, okay? Get it together. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Okay. Um, so I would think that your next one would be something about uh, professional development. 
Okay, so we talked about networking. We talked about going to uh, branding yourself, right? Networking, and thank you, Tracy. We're gonna throw that in there because that's most important as well. Uh, we talked about earlier how you have to know about your industry. You have to you have to study your industry. Yeah, right? I don't care if you're making baskets, like baskets, like real baskets. There, I'm sure there is an association on crafts. Oh, yeah. Right? I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure there is. is. And so you have to really get to know it. And then you have to be around those people because mm -hmm. they will do nothing but motivate you. And right. your, your marketplace, I'm going to help you out. Your marketplace is not to the people that are selling the same thing. Mm -hmm. So if I'm selling coffee and Tracy is selling coffee, I don't need to be marketing to Tracy. No, we have the same thing. And this is good for network marketers. Hear me, network marketers. Put a pin in it, Tracy. Network marketers, if you have your whole company's um, photos, you know, the leaders, the photos, the products, all of that on your Facebook. Stock photos. <laughs> stock photo. Take that mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm not going to just say take it down. Take it down because nobody in your company is going to buy the coffee from you. So if you got 2,000 friends and all of them from the same company, I promise you, I promise you with everything in me, mm -hmm. none of them, not one, is going to buy their product that they sell from you. Why? Mm -hmm. And so if you want to be creative, you know, we're talking branding, look at the photo and see if you can, make, you know, recreate the same photo with you in it. Get rid of all of your same industry, not industry, but same company's uh, friends. Mm -hmm. it's not that, you know, it's not that you don't love them. You love them. Mm -hmm. But you're not marketing to them because they're not going to buy from you. Right. So just, just change that all up. Please do that. Please. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was three. Get in, get, get a good understanding, a good understanding and mm -hmm. good understanding of your industry's uh, products and or services. Okay. So let me, let me go through that again. I got it now. I'm, I'm okay. Go ahead. Through it again. <laughs> you know, I like to do the recaps. So go yeah, ahead. Recap on, the, on the top three things you could do. Mm -hmm. Brand yourself in your marketplace. Network by building authentic relationships. Mm -hmm. That'd be crazy. <laughs> and <laughs> Hey guys, it's six o'clock in the morning. Listen, I'm going to have a good laugh. This is a good laugh at six o'clock in the morning. Okay, yeah. this, is, this is real life, guys. This is real life. Right okay, okay, go ahead. One, two, three. I ain't gonna mess this up no more. I'm gonna write it down. Okay, next question. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you have two specials coming up that I am truly excited about because I know one of the things that um, right now we have unsung heroes and usually when we think about heroes, we think about soldiers and I'm all about soldiers because my son is in the military, you're ex-military, my dad was in the military. So I'm all about the soldiers. So we're never going to um, say that, you know, dismiss them. But we have some new unsung heroes, which are our frontline workers through COVID-19. And I know that you have a care package that you're, um, you know, you have, you're offering that people can buy and send out to, you know, your special nurse, your special fireman, policeman, you know, the um, sanitation worker who comes to your your street every week and take up that garbage because I mean they are unsung heroes too. You know, just those people who are out there, the people who are working in the stores, you know, they're putting their lives at risk every day. So you have a little cure pack. Just say thank you. And it's called Cuddles of Love. Am I saying it right? Okay. So it's called it's okay. It's six <laughs> Okay. It's six in the morning. Every time we, every time we do, every time we, we we fumble. Let's just call it six o'clock in the morning. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, it's called it's called cups of cuddles. And and Tracy, you are absolutely correct. Um, you can go online and see what that looks like. It's just a cup. It's just a mug, a cute mug, a nice mug, right? It's a nice mug, not this one, but a nice mug, and it's full of coffee, cocoa, and tea, and some it's cookies. You say, how do you get all that in there? Trust me, I got it all in there. <laughs> And it's really nice. And all you're doing is walking up to them and saying, you know what? I truly appreciate what you do for our community mm -hmm. or for society because you are absolutely right. They are working while we're staying at home. So they're yeah. providing food because we still have to get food. Yes. They're, they're coming to get our garbage. If not, mm -hmm. that garbage will be stacked and packed. 
-hmm. you know, uh, they're, they're mailing out stuff for business owners. I took a couple of cuddles and gave them my, um, post office workers, a cup of cuddles because I do appreciate them. Right. I appreciate the people that works in the general dollar general. I, mm. I appreciate them guys. And I am offering an opportunity because I want you to think big. I want shop you to think small. big and I want you to shop small. So mm. for $20, $20. You can get a cup full of coffee, cocoa tea, and then when I say full, you can imagine how much can fit in here. Mm -hmm. But it's so cute. Go on, go on my website, you'll see it. Mm -hmm. Go on my Facebook page, you'll see it. And OMG, Tracy, it is an overwhelmingly lovely gift received. Like mm -hmm. the receiver is falling out. And yeah. guys, it's only 20 bucks. Yeah. 20 bucks. And you're saying thank you. Mm -hmm. So the last time I did this, Tracy, I think I had this lady. She was just going crazy. She mm -hmm. she was ordering for everybody, mm -hmm. but send them all around. Like I mailed them, and they get there safe. Mm -hmm. um, I do need to have them take pictures, though. I do. Yeah. I, I, mean, I need to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. I'm making a note. <laughs> Write it down. <laughs> and then the next one is our other unsung heroes. I know we are a society of people who like to crap on men right especially yeah. not the black community yeah. because we have a i mean really we do have a lot of powerful single parent female single yeah. female parent households um and we like to say oh well you know men are this whatever anyway we're not going to get into that too much but um there are some good fathers out there whether or not they're in the household or not and father's day is right around the corner we go big for mother's day and rightfully so, because we do go through a lot to bring these kids into this world. But I am a mother of a son, and I have three brothers that I love dearly, right? I have a dad. So that, is that three orders? Is that three orders? I hear you say three orders. <laughs> All right, go ahead. I have a dad that I do love. I have uncles. I have really good men in my life. And of course, I've met some really bad ones too, but it doesn't matter. I mean, we still need to um, to celebrate Father's Day like we do Mother's Day. And we need to buy gifts just like we do for mothers on Father's Day. So I think, that. Tracy, you are absolutely correct. You know, I won't, I won't crap on men either because I think men, without without our men, there will be no you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Where right. you came from. Right. And so we do make a big deal out of Mother's Day. And that's a society thing a societal thing that that's yeah. something created back way back when mm -hmm. and we can never get away from it and when our our pros athletes get on tv the first thing they say is hi mom because we were we were trained to do that right yeah. we were we were trained to do that and uh, because we're emotional and allegedly men are not emotional so let mm -hmm. me talk to you about emotional side mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen emotionally get in touch with yourself so that you can you know uh, uh, celebrate your dad we all know most women are uh, daddy's girls. They are. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I know what you say about um, the negative part, but that's throughout the society. That's throughout the world. Mm -hmm. Right now, we don't want to focus on anything negative. We want to focus on Father's Day, and we want to promote Father's Day the exact same way we do Mother's Day. And believe it or not, Tracy, this year for Mother's Day was not as radiant as it usually is right. because we had to stay in the house right yeah. so we've created a brand new product called the coffee box mm -hmm. and we got it we had it with you in mind it will go up today it will be on our website today uh, we're taking orders our first shipment should be around the first of of the month if you will and i just want to give you may i give you two items that will be in it now sure. it won't be this size, but it'll be a black mug, a black tumbler. It won't be that size because this this is for this is for the person who drink coffee too much. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, I can't wait for you all to see. We're also putting a French, a French. Oh man, lightning is horrible. That's better. Yeah, there you go. We're putting a French press. You see, I don't have my nails done right. <laughs> We're putting a French press inside, and guys, we're putting some cookies. We're just uh, developing or putting together a really nice box 
for dad. Where we having a t-shirt, we're gonna put a mask inside. We're just having some great things inside of this box, guys. And this is the launch of the coffee box. So let me yeah. say that too. We're never gonna stop selling the coffee box. But right now we wanna make it very special oh, for Father's dad. So we wanna celebrate Father's Day. Yes, mm -hmm. we do. Okay. okay. All right. Any last words of wisdom that you wanna leave with us for people who are trying to build their empires currently especially through COVID-19, a lot of people have put pause on their businesses because they can't see beyond what's going on right now. Um, maybe they're not getting the clientele that they need in order to sustain their business. I mean, I could come up with some stuff that they can do, but what would you tell them to do now? Because we talked about recession proof. Your business is recession proof, regardless of whether people, there's just some things that people are always going to buy regardless, but how can they still keep themselves going or keep themselves in front of their clientele, their desired um, audience through this um, COVID-19? Great question, Tracy. All right, guys. Ooh. So I want you to know that my major product, meaning where majority of my revenue came from, was mm. through our workshops and our conferences. Okay. So that has completely wiped away. Like mm -hmm. for the last two months, this is what, June? What is this, May? me so i don't think i've done something since february right so march april may three months for me three months um for the last three months i have not conducted not one workshop and mm -hmm. in our workshops guys when i tell you that's the majority of my revenue that's the majority because at a at a minimum pop there's a 500 dollar price tag on it right mm -hmm. so anyway uh, i don't have that anymore and i said okay what can we do you know mm -hmm. First thing I started doing is looking on the internet and see what everybody else is doing in my industry. That's why you want to know what other people are doing. So two things I want to recommend. See, if I keep it to two, I can remember. Because <laughs> it's six o'clock in the morning. Two things I can remember, I mean, I can work on. One is professional development, mm -hmm. right? I am digging deep into the coffee industry. Mm -hmm. And the next thing I can pivot and work my e-commerce. That's what the other coffee vendors and industry is doing. They are, mm -hmm. they are solicit solidifying their e-commerce, their websites, and they're getting things out there to the marketplace. They're getting products out there to the marketplace. Right. And so Tracy, that's why I said to you, oh man, I gotta build these funnels. Mm -hmm. Because I build these funnels and get people on that's online all the time. Everybody is in the house. Right. So everybody is online. So mm -hmm. if you have a product, you know, uh get online. But if you have a service and you're like, well. I have a service, so how do I sell my service online? Through education. Mm -hmm. People buy educational products. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Tracy Tracy is an educator, so I don't <laughs> want to compare you to Tracy. Right? She's like amazing, right? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. But if you are amazing as well <laughs> in your own lane, <laughs> you know, get with Tracy and ask her, how can you build your service online and it's through education because what you will be doing you will be educating um i'm gonna call them junior junior services service providers meaning junior to you but in the same arena you'll mm -hmm. be providing them with the information they need and guys you can package that up and sell it now don't don't try to kill nobody's purse because you won't sell too much right you're new at it but at mm -hmm. the same time for a minimal uh cost and when I say minimal, I don't mean don't, don't, don't get with Tracy for the cost. But <laughs> for a minimal cost, you can begin to still generate revenue. And guys, mm -hmm. every, Tracy, you said this and I wrote it down. Purchase the purchase. See, I wrote that down. <laughs> purchase the purchase for a small business owner means everything. Mm -hmm. It means everything. We have inventory. It means everything. Purchase the purchase. Big, big businesses don't have to worry about that. Right. And they, they don't, Walmart doesn't have to worry about purchase to purchase. But if I got a product that's not in Walmart, but they sell it, I have to continue to put my product out there, purchase to purchase. And you know what, Tracy, can I be honest with you? I would, mm -hmm. I would stay small. I, yeah, I, you know, I, I do. I love servicing my community. Mm -hmm. So guys, seriously, number one, self-development. Mm -hmm. And number two, pivot and figure out how you can use e-commerce for your business. Yeah. Do you want to touch on any of your expansions post COVID? <laughs> oh, you just always just put me out there. I love it. I love it though, Tracy. 
<laughs> because I do have employees too, right? Right. And that's the biggest thing. When you have employees, believe it or not, their livelihood is is kind of dependent on your success. On your on your pay. You know, yeah. you you and so since I know I want to, I want to, not have to, okay. Mm -hmm. I want to pay my employees so because they're still working. And, and we just had to shift and figure out their new duty duties and responsibilities, but they have them, trust me. I want to support them, so I need the support of my customers. Mm -hmm. Guys, new something new that I want to recommend. It's not new anymore, but something new that I wish I would have done when I first got started, Tracy, was my customer relations management tool. Mm -hmm. I know for a fact I served... <sighs> Well over 20,000, 25,000 cups of coffee to people. I know I have. Mm -hmm. Imagine if I had that list. Right. To everybody I got coffee to. Mm -hmm. Oh, we will be booming right about now. Right. But I did not. So a strong recommendation. Every customer that you have, mm -hmm. everyone, even if you can go back. If you can't go back, I get it. But if you can't go back. And you build you a customer relation management tool, even if it's on Excel document, a mm -hmm. CRM is what they call that. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about an email list. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about a list where you can monitor sales, you can monitor emails, you can mm -hmm. monitor everything that your customer does. You can monitor their birthday. You can send mm -hmm. them a holiday card. You got their address. Woo, Tracy. That's a that whole thing. We, we need to do that on a separate, do a separate live just on that. Why wow. that is so important because I was just talking to someone about that um, last week and I was just like, you know, a simple Excel spreadsheet is all you need to monitor because you need to know where your money is coming from. Yeah. And I'm talking about specifically, yes, you could do it on um, uh, QuickBooks or whatever, but I like a different type of visual. So if I sell a business plan, I want to know who I sold that business plan to, how many of those business plans I sold versus, how, you know, I, I just like to have that. And one of the reasons, too, that you want all of that information, I, we're not going to get into it because that's, that's going to take too long. But no, there's no, a reason for no, wanting all of that information and what you can do with the information in your business. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I think, uh, OK, I'll say this then. If you want to know more information about that, get in touch with Tracy or myself. You know, mm -hmm. that's, that's not something I sell, but I, I know Tracy should sell it if she's not. <laughs> I do. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> um, but get in touch with because I'm telling you guys, you don't know when something else is going to happen. And, and OK, here it is. Tracy. You don't know when another catastrophe or I don't want to say pandemic, but what do they call it, Tracy, when you prepare for. Disaster times in your business. What do they call it's a name That's for that disaster. disaster planning, crisis planning. Disaster. Look at her, she's so mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't have a disaster plan, Tracy. We all need a disaster plan, everybody. So if you don't have one, you need to get one ASAP because yeah. this pandemic is not going to be the last one we have. And mm -hmm. a pen a disaster can come in many different forms. And I think I did a short video on it. So you could go look on my YouTube channel and you can see why you need to prepare and have a disaster plan built into your strategic plan or business plan. But go ahead. Yeah. No, no, no. I, that's it. That, that right <laughs> okay. there. All right. So we are going to wrap this up. Thank you so much, guys, for um, joining us here on Morning Tea. Thank you, Deneen, again, for being our guest. And um, if you want to get Denise coffee, which you should, it's $10 right now through COVID-19, $10 per bag. These are what the bags look like. She has many different flavors. Um, $10, go to DeniseTheCoffeeQueen.com. I, I highly suggest that you get her networking book because networking is the way to succeed in this business. I've told the story of how she told me to get from behind this computer and get out in them streets. <laughs> Yes. And get yes, out of here. That's how she put it to me. And that was the biggest thing, the biggest blessing that I've had in my business. I was able to go out and I network myself to death. I know so many people, people I can call up and be like, hey, girl, what's going on? I have such and such a problem. Or I got this email like, 
I was able to call somebody this weekend. Um, last week, I got an email from an agency and I wasn't sure if it was a legit email, but I knew someone who worked in the agency. And I said, can you check this email address for me to make sure before I press the, the button, you know, because I don't want to open spam. So stuff like that. I just know a wide variety of people. So networking is definitely the key to your net worth right? So go on and get Deneen's book at www.21irrefutablelawsofnetworking.com. Huh? It's six o'clock in the morning. I want you to look at how you spell irrefutable. Oh Lord. Did I spell it wrong? It's okay. They should, they don't know how to spell it when it, when it comes up. Yeah. You'll know how to spell it. Sorry. It's six o'clock in the morning. I was trying to type it in and do this at the same time. But anyways, so 21 irrefutable, you know how to spell irrefutable, right? Even though if I don't right now, but <laughs> 21 irrefutable laws of networking, you can go there and get the book and the workbook. She has a package and you can get coffee in that package too, yeah. right? Yes. So she has yes. a bundle right now where you get the book, the workbook and a free bag of coffee. Free. So go on over and get it. So remember the saying that SBA has this year for Small Business Week, which this is Small Business Month, basically, is yeah. think big, shop small, support your small businesses. It's a purchase to purchase. Just like you're living paycheck to paycheck, they're living from your purchase to the next purchase. And this is the only way we're going to survive is that if we help each other, each help, each, help someone up the ladder, you know, support of something you need, someone small is selling it, buy it from them. All right. Have a wonderful day and join me tomorrow for another episode of Morning Tea. Have a wonderful Monday. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks, Denise. Thank you. <laughs>